guys along with me on prep for college. This is the most awkward clip ever. That sounds so extra now that I'm thinking about it. It's very easy to get overwhelmed. Just don't love it. I actually kind of hate it. Coming to Ikea hungry is one of the worst things you can do. The heat just makes it so difficult. We're headed to Target right now. Now we somehow ended up with olive, green, and pink. It's definitely not what I thought it was going to be. I might return this, honestly. Is that why are you judging it? It's cute, look at it. We're all a little not doing well. We get shower shoes. No, they're not gonna have shower shoes here if you do this in the other one. Look, there's specific shower shoes. You can't yes. just do rubber flip flops. There's shower shoes for the dorm. Yes. I'm not wearing those in the shower. <laughs> dorm, baby. Sit in rooms that are 100 so degrees. Cool. I didn't want to come back here. Because we don't really understand what we need. We don't know yeah. what we need. So, <laughs> this is terrible. Welcome to part two. If you've made it here, hello. I hope you enjoyed part one. I'm back in the middle of the week, which is very different for me because I normally upload on weekends. A couple things I wanted to go over here before we get started. I will be moving into the University of Arizona on August 15th. They are starting off the year with mostly online courses. And then they said that after Labor Day, they will be reevaluating and letting there become more in-person classes. And I also have a lease starting up in Tucson. But I wanted to talk about in part one, a lot of people were commenting about the amount of stuff we were getting slash it being very extra. I totally agree and appreciate all of the advice from everyone who has been in college before. It's funny because Ella is the most organized person I've genuinely ever met. I say it all the time. A lot of the stuff that we're buying is for storage because we want to have the most organized setup as possible for it being such a small dorm. So you're gonna see in this, like us going to Ikea, there were these certain nightstands that had so much storage space. So that was why we were very, I guess, extra in a lot of ways. We just wanna have it be very minimalistic looking and have a lot of the stuff that we need in little storage areas. My sister has a lot of stuff that she regretted not having in her dorm. So I kind of have her telling me certain stuff. So I'm just trying to go with the mindset that I can return anything. I'd rather have, I guess, more at the beginning than less and not have a enough, especially because we are starting off with online classes. I want to make sure that where I'm going to be spending most of my time, I have everything kind of needed and I don't need to go to the store a whole bunch. So I just want to talk about that, but I appreciate all the feedback and support on the last video. I hope you guys are excited for part two. Let's go ahead and get right into it. I believe July 23rd. All right, let's do it. It is Thursday, I believe the 23rd and my sheets just came from Dormify. I realized after the fact that white sheets when you self tan is probably not the smartest but we'll just play by ear and see how it goes i really try and rinse and be like good about it <laughs> you just don't know so we got these and then there's one more package from dormify all right everybody I'm trying to remember what this oh my gosh wait this is okay i'm not actually gonna be using this because when we went to ikea we got the other nightstands but this i can use for the house it is a charging cart for like your nightstand and it's really cool i can sort of picture of it that's, that's exciting. awesome it's pretty epic and it charges your phone and i needed a nightstand for the house so this is perfect why are you looking at it like that why are you judging it it's, it's cute look at it now i'm going to show you guys all the pillows have come. We have everything for the bed almost. Okay, so this potentially looks like a lot of different stuff going on and a lot of different color. But yeah, all the pillows came. We have these two, the body pillow, and then this one. We'll have them kind of spread out and then these two blankets, obviously. Looking good. I'm excited to get the comforter and then we can kind of try it all on and see how it looks. But I think that's about it for today. It's hot. Ready to go? I'm ready. This should be our last final bigger run, I guess, before like the last random thing. This might be the last thing you see in this video of us shopping. All right, we're all a little not doing well. See you there. We need notebook, hangers, trash bag, shower shoes. Can I get shower shoes? No, they're not gonna have shower shoes here if you do this in the Amazon, bro. Put, there's specific shower shoes? Yes. You can't just do rubber flip flops? I don't yes. want a specific one. What are you talking about? I had actual shower shoes. Trash can, oh lights, Let's go look like laundry that. detergent, body wash, command hooks, mattress pads. Oh, so we're looking God. for shower shoes for the dorm yeah, because door. basically we don't want foot fungus in the dorm showers or to step on anything gross. No, I just want these. What do I need slip on? Easier, getting on the shower. Oh, I'm not wearing those in the shower. shower. <laughs> these are the only ones that have a size giant, so. Yeah, I'm size 11 if you didn't know. These are even gonna be small. Wait, update on the shower shoes. Mom found an actual section of shower shoes. 
Oh, it's almost like director. Aaron was right or something. That's what I said. No, you didn't. You said traction on the bottom. No, I said traction and the whole storm, baby. No, because you you think you want it and then it's Aaron, just annoying. You like to sit in rooms that are 100 so degrees. Cute. No, it triggers me. I sit in her room at night and she doesn't put the fan go on. Go look at all these curtains. She's not going to answer. I, I like. don't have service in here. So my mom has learned that these are your best friend, whether you're a freshman, sophomore. You can't hang stuff basically with nails. So mom is making me a first aid kit, which is what she made Aaron, and it basically consists of like ibuprofen, Tums, and any medicine I'll need. And I love Tums. I constantly need them because my stomach always hurts. Well, we're done officially. Basically, we've been waiting on the comforters to come for a little bit and both Ella and I's have arrived, so I thought I would do a little unboxing. Ooh. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my God. Oh, and it's like already has like the thing in it. It's so comfy. Mom, do you like it? Let me see it. Oh, Let's okay. go try it. Um, I'm gonna like make a fake bed and see what everything's gonna look like. That will be the real test if I did a good job planning pillows and everything. It trashed every room. I'm sorry about it. It's not bad. It's good. Here's the butterfly tapestry that I feel like I never showed even though I hyped it up so much. Look how cute it is. I'm obsessed with this and I think it's so much better than the other one. I actually returned that one. This is great and I think the colors tie in really well here with this blanket. This pillow is just throwing me off a little bit. I forgot to be honest. It's like silver and I don't know. But here's the comforter. I love this. Ella's is out front but she's gonna make her bed too. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with this. So I thought it would be helpful to show you guys Guys, some of the stuff that we got at Target yesterday. A lot of this is like your toiletry bathroom kind of stuff. And I think it's kind of good to show. Maybe it can help some of you. I still have some more to get, but these are a lot of the basics. So first off, you saw our debate about the shower shoes. These ones have the holes in them meant for the shower. I have my mouthwash. I have this value set of makeup wipes because I use these every single day. I have my body wash. Tide pods are super, super easy. I learned this the hard way having my own apartment. Command hooks are something that you don't really think of and they're not a fun purchase to make But when you're living in a dorm or maybe a place you're renting a lot of the times they won't let you nail things So you need to have those ways to do it without making any like holes or dents in the wall So I definitely recommend getting these the sooner the better because they sell out around back to school time I have these for my pimple cream hand sanitizer I have a couple other ones, but obviously we're gonna need a bunch of this next year I have shaving cream some little cotton round things for makeup removal. I can open because I want to use as many things in my own cooking stuff as possible for the dorm just for germs and everything obviously I have my toothpaste here toenail clippers some garbage bags and my little hack is to get the scented ones it just helps make it feel a little cleaner especially because the trash is kind of right there in your space I ordered a bunch more of these from Target because they only had this but a hack with hangers the tinier they are the better because you can fit more in them so if you get the plastic ones you can only fit about one half the stuff. My mom is making me a first aid kit with any medicine I'll need, ibuprofen. This I just figured out yesterday is important. It's a mattress pad because the dorm beds can be a little uncomfortable. So to have this is super, super helpful. And then from Ikea, I did buy my own pot and pan. I know it seems kind of extra and I love having mason jars for water or coffee when I'm just at home. So I thought to bring my own little four pack would be super nice. If you want like a full in-depth video of everything that I bought for my freshman year, let me know. I'm still figuring this out. I'm really lucky though to have my sister and Pinterest and checklists that are really really helpful This is a really bad setup for it, but this is like Isn't it cute? Do you like it? I want to see if you notice the same thing though with the one circular. I feel like it's like blue. Isn't it kind of like tinted blue? I mean, it's just like gray. I might be the lighting in here. I don't I know. It. And then with but the like, wooden like headboard, too, so isn't like... that cute? And then a blanket like only peeking out a little bit. I love it. I love, I love it. it. That it's one like is like lightweight, yours. but like this. Oh, I love it. Yay. Good job. And now Ikea for the second time. Let's oh, yeah. go. <laughs> Can't wait for that drive. <laughs> All right, so Ella and I are back at Ikea, which is really upsetting because I didn't want to come back here. Yep. So basically what happened was if you watched the beginning part of this when we first went We had all the pieces because at Ikea they have the big warehouse So you walk through find what you want take pictures of it and then you go to the warehouse 
have to get everything. For the nightstands, it had like 10 different pieces to it that you had to get in different aisles. We thought we got it all, but then someone came over and was like, no, you need like these drawers, you need this. So we ended up getting two Basically, not going to be the logistics of it, but we got the wrong size, and the drawers that we have are huge, where we won't even be able to reach <laughs> up to them. So we're back to exchange part of it, and then get the second part that we need. Hopefully, if at all the mathematics of it work. So. The issue is we don't really understand what we need. We don't know yet. what we need. So yeah, and it's also heavy, and it's just the two of us, and it's hot. So we don't know how. It's 113 right now, and we're kind of clueless when it comes to this. No, this is like. This is really big. This is like the not fun stuff to do. I like doing yeah. the, the fun, cute little stuff. It's basically what's happening. And it's a far drive to add on top, but hopefully we get it figured out now. Let's go. We couldn't find someone to help us, so we're fully just going into this. Gonna try and guess what we need. So this just basically did nothing. Let's try to do it. I feel like I have two. Okay, we're grabbing our return. We found the pieces we need. We finally got some help in there. The worst thing you can do in Arizona is not put your sunshade up when you park somewhere yeah, with, the black, with the black leather. Yeah, we're waiting for curbside pickup. They're actually gonna bring it to us. We just got the other one exchanged and that way we don't have to lift those and try and figure out the pieces. They're just gonna do it. So I'm really proud of us. And only took us a couple hours. <laughs> just a couple hours in there. Really hoping we have what we actually need. We think there might be a piece missing still. No, we foreshadow but, again. <laughs> no, we might be back here for the third time. Well, baby cup. Oh, I love it. Cheers. Yes. Thank you guys so much for all of the love and support on this. I'm so excited for this next chapter. I hope maybe this helps some of you on maybe what to do slash not to do. I'm still figuring it out and just trying to take it day by day. The organization that I wanna talk about in this video is called Brave Like Gabe. It is supporting and empowering all cancer survivors through physical activity. It is such a special organization. I will have the information down below. I will be donating and I hope that maybe you will go check it out. Thank you guys for supporting me on this next chapter. I love you all and I will see you on Saturday. I'm actually doing a video with my brother, so see you then. <laughs> okay, bye. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her.